Hey everybody, welcome back to the Flat Thunder channel. We got old Margaret here, turned around in the driveway from the way she was previously sitting. She was facing the other way, and we were able to do that and drive her under her own power, which is awesome. Right now we need to take care of the engine oil, because engine oil was diluted with uh, quite a bit of gasoline from that uh, carburetor bowl uh, sticking and that uh, accelerator pump being worn out. It was just dumping fuel all over the uh, engine and the engine oil is diluted a little bit. So today, we're gonna to change the engine oil. Now, a few things. I don't have a new engine oil filter. I'm gonna take you off of there and show you what the oil filter housing looks like. Maybe you guys can help me identify the correct filter for this unit. Got the uh, fuel pump chugging away. Looks like the dark clouds are rolling in. We're gonna start this girl up and uh, get it warmed up so we can drain that old nasty oil out of the engine and possibly the gearbox too. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't look like our battery's got enough juice. I just pulled it off of the trickle charger. Must be some really heavyweight oil in this old girl. <sighs> See if we can't juice her up with this and the jumper cables. Get in there and hook her up. Ignition! Well, now we got her fired up here. The uh, goal is to just get it warmed up so all the goo and the nasty oil will come out of the engine and possibly the uh, gearbox and the transmission. At night, looking for her to get nice and warm. Three quarter inch. Get you a closer look. What do you think it's gonna come out? Anything? That's a long plug. Uh, I wish I would have got it a little bit warmer, but I thought she's warm by now. This goes to show you it's kind of cold outside. I'm gonna dump in a little. A little bit of oil, fresh oil here, maybe a quarter of a quart. There you go, you can see a color difference. I don't know if you can, but I can. Fresh oil's coming out. See it? That's nice fresh oil. got the oil dumped put new oil in but I didn't change the oil filter largely because I don't know can you see that that's the oil filter housing and I believe that's a cartridge type oil filter now I went to my local Napa the other day to try to get verification on what sorry a piece of crap's going by I think that's awesome this sounds better than that so I went to the local Napa dealer to try to get verification on the correct element and they were doing a Google search. So I wasn't very confident. Uh, what I found Google searching was a C750E Baldwin filter. Um, but this this looks like it's a whole lot smaller. It almost looks like a, like a PH8A housing if you were to compare it to a spin-on. But uh, if you know the correct oil filter cartridge for this, let me know, because I have no idea. For right now, we're gonna get this fired up and need to try to move it around a little bit because the engine wasn't even warm, so I'm betting that gearbox oil is still really thick and almost solid. It's a power steering fluid too. Here we go, backing 
up. Oh, she coming out of the driveway. First gear. Brake's a little sticky. Second gear. Third gear. Now nah, back at first. Give me a 40 mile, we'll turn this girl around, huh? I don't know what that grinding noise is. Old girl back in our driveway. <laughs> Woo! The brakes lock up a little bit when you touch them. I don't know what we caught on the video there, but uh, we did buzz across into the private parking lot there and do a couple laps around. I'm sure somebody didn't like that, so we couldn't hang around and uh, work on getting the perfect video footage. But uh, I hope you got something that uh, looked good. As you can see, the brakes are still getting sticky. Obviously, they haven't been used in several, several years. But we did go from first gear taking off to second gear no problems super smooth i'm pretty 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 excited about that now the uh, gearbox should be uh warmed up at least good enough to try to get that oil out of there let's get it drained this greasy plug here is the plug for the gearbox drain i got my grandfather's old s and k ratchet rightfully so hopefully that's the right hex yep We'll jam this guy in there, buzz this plug out, see how much water and crap's in there. 
come out pretty easy. Okay, I got sharp edges on that old plug. Uh, what do you think is going to come out of there? Hopefully not any water. It's brown nasty goo. It doesn't look like there's a ton of water in there though. That's good. And the plug's got a little bit of metal filings on it, but I mean, she is 1962, so my gear jamming doesn't help very much. That's some yummy goo, isn't it? Oh, the cap fell back down in the hole. Come on. Welcome into the filthy workbench here. And I don't know if you can see a little better close up than laying on the ground. You know, we definitely have some metal shavings and such on the plug. That's why the magnet's there. Um, and some real nice shiny sparkly grit that came off of it. Um, I mean, it's a 1962, and let's face it, I ground the gears quite a bit. So, I'm going to get this cleaned off of there and put her back in. I'd be really alarmed if I saw, like, big, huge chunks. But uh, I don't see anything overly concerning. Got my old friend carb cleaner here. It's going to blast it off. all day long. I don't think I'll get it all off of there, but we'll get the majority of it. And if there's one little speck that's on there, it'll hopefully stay on there. So let's uh, get this back in the truck and fill her with gear oil. Down in here, I believe this big hex is the fill plug. So we got to get a wrench, get that off of there. Believe it or not, this isn't my preferred wrench here, but I cannot find my crescent wrench. I need to buy a whole bunch more. Uh, okay. Looks like she's gone in, doing the same thing we did to the engine. It's gonna add a little bit and hopefully wash out the bottom of the transmission. We got nice clean gear oil flowing out there. Reassemble our drain plug here. That ought to do. You. Yeah. Oh boy, well, that was cool. All right, I gotta move the camera out of the way. All right, well, she's definitely full. Well, I didn't see any other fill plug, so I assume this plug is you fill it until it starts running out of this hole. It might be a little bit over full, but we're gonna call it good. If you uh, know where that, if there's a correct procedure for this or another fill two plug, I assume that's the only fill plug there is the way it shoots off at an angle. Okay, gonna call that good. All right, well, I popped the battery cable back on but didn't hook up the uh, extra battery. Let's see if she'll fire up. Look at that. I'm still impressed that the tachometer still works. Here's the oil pressure gauge. 
reading about 30 ish 20 to 30. I just have way too much fun with this old truck that greasy hands That's Bulldog gear. So, all the way to the right forward is reverse, straight back, Bulldog gear. All the way over to the left, forward, that's first gear. Second gear, sticky brakes, hold on. Woohoohoo! Uh-oh. One side of the brakes doesn't want to let go. We're just spinning tires. Man, I really need to fix this window. First gear, second gear. <laughs> oh, we stalled her out on the brake. Oopsie. I'm gonna have to look at those brakes in the back next or we're never gonna be able to move her in the snow. Not that I want to, but it might have to jockey it around the driveway. It's gonna go for a bulldog on the way up. I haven't tried the uh, rear end yet. I don't know how that works. Can you see me? I don't know what you can see. Well, I don't know. I'm going to record an outro in here. I'm overly excited about this. The truck moves. The clutch works. We drained the engine oil to make sure we didn't uh, mess anything up with the engine with that uh, gas infested engine oil. And we dumped the gearbox gear oil out just in case there's a bunch of water in there. So, what's next? I'm not for sure. It's getting kind of cold. We need to make this old girl so we can easily move it. And if we ever get the garage cleaned out enough, wheel it in the garage to work on it in the colder months. If you uh, like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave your questions and your comments in that section below. And don't forget to tickle that subscribe button. Key things to remember. I need to know what the correct oil filter is. And if you know any particulars about how I was filling the gearbox, if there's anything I should have been doing differently, obviously not dumping it all over. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. And I don't know if you can tell, but it is snowing. So, it is cold out. It is getting really cold out. So, old Margaret here, she's alive and well. I hope all of you are doing well over the holidays, getting prepared for uh, Christmas. We're going to try to work on this little girl a little bit more this year. I don't know how much more because, again, it is snowing and she's not an inside truck. You need to be able to make it so we can move it in and out of the garage a little easier. Those brakes out back that are getting stickier are probably going to have to be addressed pretty soon or she's going to be stuck 